Today we are going to look at how to remove a hard disk drive from a Seagate backup plus hub enclosure. These enclosures are sealed at removing the disk can be difficult. It will damage the case and likely void the warranty. Take care as you need to use a sharp tool to pry it out. If you slip you could easily cut yourself. Warning over, let's get to it. I have the unit on the floor, this is so, I if I slip, I won't stab the screwdriver into my palm, leg, or feet. You could use a knife, but that might be riskier. Here I just hold it flat on the floor and work my flat blade screwdriver into the edge where the lid meets the lower portion. The lid is on the smaller side. Here you can see which angle to direct the driver. Once you make it a little, be careful not to damage the parts inside. It can be fairly difficult to get it started. Just go slowly and take care. Once you get it started, you need to slide the prying tool around the end. I work toward the rear end with the power socket in. As you go it will start to pop open more. Once it is starting to pop open, you can just start to pull it apart. Take care, as there are sharp edges inside. I don't think it's possible without breaking the clips as you go. Once it's open, it has broken. Maybe someone with a surgeon's hands could do it. Just keep snapping the clips one by one. Keep it under control as the last thing you would want to do is drop the disc out on the floor. That's it, it's finally free. Wow. It's not easy to find the bare disc in the local shops, but I was able to get this 8TB disc for cheap. Now I can expand my PC with a new internal drive. But first, we need to liberate it from its plastic tomb. It won't be easy, it never is. First, remove the tape holding it in, there is also one screw to move. It's a little Phillips one. Then I try to use the power of my bare hands, but that won't be enough for sure. Let's use our handy liberation tool to lever it here and there. Go carefully and use the driver to lever it out at the back, on the opposite side from the power port and USB to computer port. Once that is out, you can use the driver to lever to let the rear ports come out of their holes in the case, which then allows the rear end of the disc to move more freely. As always take care not to damage the disc or its circuits. Now let's liberate this end from its rubber anti-shock mounting. It's nearly there. Another wiggle at this end. A little bit over there. Keep going. Come on, that's it. Don't you even. Ouch, careful, there are sharp bits around here. That's it, it's... Come out. Yes. We still have to remove it from the circuit board. There are just four screws to remove now. If you want, you could reuse this as a quick release caddy for another hard disk. It works fairly quickly for a USB hard drive adapter. Now that the four screws have been removed, it's easy to slide the hard disk drive off its connectors and remove it from the circuit board. There you have it, a standard SATA Type 8 terabyte hard drive. It in fact cost a little bit less than buying the disk as a component. I now have two of these matching drives, and can run them internally to my PC as a mirrored RAID. Plenty more space for videos to edit. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like. And please subscribe. It really helps the channel.